The development of a new climate intelligence system for Pacific tuna will enable countries to make better decisions based on the timing and severity of climate impacts on their tuna fisheries. Every year, tuna generates almost 1.1 billion US dollars in export revenue for Pacific Island nations. This has enabled countries like Kiribati and the Cook Islands to invest in the development of their own economies and public services. But if global greenhouse gas emissions are not cut immediately to net zero, a warming ocean will push vital tuna stocks beyond their exclusive economic zones and into the high seas. It's already been projected that in 30 to 50 years' time, most of the prime fishing grounds would have shifted away from the member seas and into the high seas, away from areas where our members can effectively regulate and control fishing activities. Here in the Cook Islands, we need to understand what that means at the grassroots level, what that's going to mean for our artisanal fishers, but also what that's going to mean for our commercial sector. The region is harnessing the latest in cutting edge technology to develop a new climate intelligence system for the Pacific tuna fisheries. The climate intelligence system combines oceanographic and fisheries catch data with the latest developments in molecular science and data analysis. Ocean data is collected by satellites, buoys, ships, and underwater gliders. Tuna prey is mapped by vessel eco-sounders. Tuna populations are modeled by genomics. And advanced computer models can then use this data to forecast impacts and inform immediate decisions and long-term planning. For countries like Solomon, Papua New Guinea and Marshall Islands, who plan to have significant investments in onshore processing and transshipment. The climate intelligence system will provide the information that is needed for the development of business cases for current and new facilities. What the system should also help us to do is to establish enduring rights in the face of climate change so that regardless of where these stocks are, we'll still be able to access them and then utilize them again to derive benefits for our countries. The new climate intelligence system for Pacific tuna will strengthen commercial negotiations with fishing companies, improve business planning for transshipment and processing, enhance food security and access to oceanic fish resources, support efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Climate change is something that is here. It is not going to go away. It is everybody's business to make sure everybody works together. It's about maintaining our rights. It's about ensuring continued access to these resources. It's about feeding our people. <laughs>